Well, hello everyone. If you are joining me on the replay, hey, I'm happy that you are here. Even though you're not joining us live, please know that you can still double tap on the screen to show some hearts and join in the fun because this week to pass the scope or pass the soap scum, I can't even talk, pass. <laughs> this is the way it is when you start off in the early morning. Scope past Sunday this week was incredible because Sue and Vincent and Amy, they were all talking about, hey honey, they were all talking about content creation. And if you are a photographer or an entrepreneur, a lot of times when you hear the words opt-in, lead magnet, content creation, you're kind of like, what in the world is that? So this is what we are gonna do. We are gonna dive into all of that and really make sure that you guys understand by the end of the next 15 minutes with me. Now, I know that there are a lot of you in here, so I wanna know how in the world, good morning you guys, hey Gabby, hey Amy. I wanna know how in the world you guys found me. Are you coming over from Scope Pass Sunday? If you are, I want you to put something down in the comments and let me know exactly how you found me and tell me what you do. Are you a photographer? Are you an entrepreneur? I kind of joke that here on Periscope we have traps and togs, okay? That's slang for entrepreneurs and photographers. Good morning, everyone. Oh, if you are a first time person here, thank you so much for joining me. I know a lot of you probably also just saw me on Friday on Creative Live with Sue. Um, if you have not watched, and I hope somebody, if somebody could put this in the comment, that would be amazing. Um, but Sue just taught an amazing creative live course. And even though it's no longer live, you can buy the course for 70, yep, Sue, traps and togs, there you go. You can buy it for $79 from Creative Live. You guys, I have been with Sue for three of her creative live courses, and I cannot even begin to express the value that I've gotten from her courses. Because here's the thing, as photographers, we oftentimes, and even as creatives, we think with our creative creative brain, our artist brain, but we don't always engage that business brain. And to survive and thrive, you guys, that is what you have to do. The average lifespan for a photographer is three years, just three years. And if you're not using your business brain, you're going to be one of those statistics. And I don't want to see you have that happen. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to click on the little Perry dude, swipe and share, or if you're on Android, you can swipe up and share. That way we can get the word out because everyone needs to know what we're going to be talking about right now. I love all the comments. You guys, this is amazing. What we're going to be talking about right now is how to create content for an opt-in. Okay. So we're going to talk about that, how to create content for an opt-in. Now, I know that a lot of you that follow me are, thanks for sharing everyone. Um, I know that a lot of you that are following me are photographers. And when I say like, oh, an opt-in, a lead magnet, lead magnet, you guys are like, what is, what is that? Like a magnet? Like I stick on my fridge? Like, oh my gosh, no, let's break it down for you right now. Okay. So what is a lead magnet? And I remember the first time I did a photo shoot for Subi Zimmerman, we were out on a walk and she was like, oh, you're opt-in, you're opt-in. And I had to stop her and say, Sue, what's an opt-in? Okay. Ready? If you're a beginner, you need to be taking notes, all right? The first thing that I want you to know is that you do not own social media. Let that sink in for a second, okay? You guys all know that social media is my jam, and I love, I love Instagram. I love Periscope, obviously. I love Facebook, but here's the thing. We don't own it. You can spend hours and tons of money building your list on Facebook or building your followers, but if Facebook shuts down tomorrow, what would you do? The only thing that you own is your email list. And this is something that I hound into my girls who take my Sparkle Society courses, okay? So you own your email list. So your number one goal as you are doing marketing is to build that, yes, and Robin just put it in there, build that email list. That is the number one thing. Get an email, get an email, get an email, okay? That's the number one thing that you always need to be doing. Now, you guys, for your photographers, you guys are probably like, well, isn't that like a newsletter? No. No, 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 okay? Yes, you can send out a newsletter, but your email list is more than just white noise, okay? A lot of times what we send out is white noise. You need to be having an email list so that you can directly contact your followers and the people that love you, okay? So the number one thing you need to do is you need to recognize that you don't own social and that your email list is gold. I even have it written there. Email list is gold, okay? And I know that Sue and a lot of people use Entreport, which is an incredibly powerful tool for something as a photographer that wasn't in my budget. So I simply use MailChimp, okay? By the way, if you're on my Sparkle Society list, we'll talk about all of this stuff and you can absolutely reach out to me. If you're not part of the Sparkle Society community, I will tell you how to do that, okay? By the way, for those of you that are just joining me, my name is Sarissa. I'm the owner of Immerse Photography and Sparkle Society, which is kind of a sister to Immerse Photography and I give encouragement 
and workshops and tips to photographers and even some entrepreneurs. So welcome. I'm so happy that you guys are here. So you need to recognize that you don't own social and that you need to be rocking your email list. Okay. So here's the question. How do I get an email? Okay. You've all been on landing pages or you've gone to a page and they're like, want this free download, put your email in here and we'll send it to you. Okay. You guys, that's an opt-in. An opt-in or a lead magnet is what you exchange for an email. Okay. So the email is the most important thing that you can get for your business. So for me, for my entrepreneurs that I'm marketing to and wanting to teach photography courses, I give them a free PDF that has my five top tips for small business owners who want to learn how to take better photos. Okay. Something simple, something small, but something that is of high value to them. Okay. For my sparkle society people, my opt-in changes all the time. Sometimes it might be a free mini workshop coming up. I have a sparkle challenge that I'll tell you guys about at the end. So you have to think what is something that you are willing to trade with someone to get their email list? What are you willing to give them? And this is super, super important. You guys can see, um, Amy and Sue and Vincent, they're all in the chat. Make sure you guys are following them because they provide such amazing content. I know for me as, as a photographer, learning to network and connect with people who are outside of my social circle, who do something completely different to, than me, it has really enriched my photography business because you can learn to glean things from all their different businesses. So Amy and Sue and Vincent, if you guys want to make sure you're popping up in the comments as you, I see you doing, make sure that you guys are following them because they are absolutely amazing. Also, if you're new, make sure you tap the Perry dude, swipe and share because we want to get the word out to everyone about this. Okay. We want all photographers rocking it, right? Okay. So you need to know what an opt-in is and what a lead magnet is. So it's the thing that you exchange for an email or the other term is kind of a lead magnet. It's what you use to draw people into you. Like, Hey, want to be a beta tester? Hey, want a free PDF download? And it draws them into you. Okay. So that's what a lead magnet is. And you must be using it. You guys, people are not just going to give you their email address. They're just not. You have got to work for it. Okay. Work it, own it, love it. Get that email address. Okay. Second thing. <laughs> oh, if you're new to me, I sing and dance all the time here on Sparkle Society on immersed photography. That's just how we roll. All right. So the first thing was an opt-in. Okay. Second thing, how do you design it? And this is something that has really been a learning curve for me. Um, as some of you know, I've hired Sue B. Zimmerman and her team, Rachel and Morgan to really help me create my online courses and my opt-ins because it's been a learning process for me. So the first thing that you need to do is figure out what an opt-in is. And the second thing is how are you going to deliver it to your followers? Okay. So Amy talked about it a lot on her scope. And if you caught her, this is going to be review, which I absolutely love Amy. As you were talking, I was like, yes, Yes. Yes. That's exactly what they need to know. So I'm going to review it a little bit. Okay. So the first thing, <laughs> thanks Sue. I kind of love you too. So the first thing is, is you need to know your ideal client. Okay. You guys, you are not Walmart. Okay. You are not a garage sale. You are not marketing to everyone. Everyone is not your client. Okay. You need to recognize that not everyone is your client. You need to figure out who is your ideal client, who is going to be the person that you love working with and who loves working with you. Okay. You need to define who the ideal client is. And we dig into this in all my courses. This is just a very surface level conversation. Please know that this is a huge topic. Okay. So you need to know your ideal client because if you, <laughs> you are not Walmart, Molly, you are not Walmart. So once you know your ideal client, then you can start to identify their pain points. Okay. So what's a pain point? A pain point is something that drives them crazy. So for an entrepreneur, you might not have a lot of time. Like I want to save you time and money. So you may say something and I even put this um, on my Instagram post. Like, are you confused about what to put in your newsletter? Are you concerned or you don't know how to design something for your vlog? Do you want to know how to, okay. I'm addressing pain points, things that you sit there at your computer and you're like, Oh, what is this? Okay. Or how can I save time? Or how can I make more money? Addressing a pain point of your ideal client. And here's the reason I knowing ideal clients are important. Every ideal client is going to have a different pain point. Okay. My kids. Okay. I have a six and an eight year old boy. One of them loves basketball. One of them loves football. So speaking to them is very different. And it's the same thing with your ideal clients. You have to speak to them differently, knowing their hearts and knowing their pain points. So think about who's your ideal client. What is their pain point? The next thing that I want you to know is I want you to know what you 
have to offer, okay? A lot of times we look and we're like, oh my gosh, there's like, you know, there's Sue teaching social media and what do I have to offer about that? Or there's, you know, Sue Bryce teaching posing. What do I have, to, you know, to offer about that? And you guys, you have a unique gift. You have been given like, <laughs> thanks Sue, you've been giving unique gifts and unique blessings and unique skills and you need to be using that. So for me, I have a teaching background. I spent 10 years in the elementary classroom, so I know a thing or two about teaching. And so when I started developing my course, Courses and what I was going to be offering, I really, really focused on that teaching aspect because I know how to break things down into a simple level so that everyone can understand that. Okay. So here's what I want you guys to do. Think about what do you have to offer? And if you're taking notes, I want you to really think about that. And I know it can feel a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit even like yucky, <laughs> if we want to use that word, but can feel a little bit uncomfortable to think about what your gifts are and what you're really good at. But you need to do that because once you know what your gifts are, then you can learn how to offer those to your clients. So know your clients, know their pain points, and then know yourself enough that you can know how to bless them. Okay. That's what exactly you need to do. Okay. Third point, And then we're bring it at home folks, bring it at home. So the third thing that you need to do is you need to ask yourself some key questions. And by the way, if you're joining me late, hi, I'm so happy that you're here. Make sure you click the little dude, swipe and share. So happy that you are here. Okay, so the third thing that you need to think about is what questions do you need to ask yourself to make this successful, okay? Because once you think about an opt-in, you know what it is, you know your client's pain points and what you have to offer, then you need to bring those two things together and figure it out exactly what it is you're gonna give them. Is it gonna be a PDF download? Is it gonna be an attachment that you send out via email? Is it going to be a landing page on a website that you send them to? A lot of times I will send them, if I'm doing a free like mini workshop, I'll send them to a page on my website that has everything they need to know right there. I don't send them an attachment. I don't necessarily give them something that they can hold, but I give them access to a private website page where they can still get all the amazing content, okay? Sometimes like for my entrepreneurs, my five top photography tips that I will give you if you sign up for my list, I send it to them and it's in a five by seven ratio so that they can print it out and put it in a picture frame for easy reference. So you have to think about how do you wanna give that to them and how do you want them to be using it, okay? So think about that. So the questions I want you to ask yourself is how much am I willing to give away to get that email address? Now, I think it was Nathan, and Sue, maybe you can correct me on this, but I think Nathan Latka is the one that said like, you don't want to give away the hamburger, give away the ketchup. So if you're a photographer, I don't, yes, value exchange. Oh my gosh, girlfriend, you're smart. Follow her. Okay. Or follow her. I forget the comments are always reverse as I'm doing this. So how much are you willing to give away? Don't give away the hamburger, give away the ketchup. So if you're a photographer, don't give away a free photo session with a big canvas and a $200 print credit and, 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 Okay, that is a lot to give away and you're losing business. You always give something away, absolutely give something away big. You wanna make it, and this is something that Sue's team taught me. You want it to be so amazing that they get that free thing and they're like, oh my gosh, if I got this for free, man, how much, how much value is she gonna give me in a $500 course? Or wow, if this is free, if she's raffling this off, or if she's taking this much care of me, I'm not even a client yet, how amazing would it be to actually be in front of her camera and be her, you know, her client. So you gotta give something that's good value, but don't give it all away. Give yourself, yes, deliver a delightful little nugget. Give yourself the ability to upsell, okay, to make profit. Because what you have to come to grips with, you guys, is you are in business. You are doing this, not just out of the goodness of your heart, but to make money. And you have to come to grips with that. It might feel uncomfortable, especially for those of you that are artists, but you've got to come to grips with it. You are in this to make money, okay? So you have to be thinking with that business brain, okay? So think about how are you gonna give it away and then what does that look like? Once you know your opt-in, you can start putting all these pieces together. Once it's designed and ready to go, you can plug it into your email list and then you can start promoting it on your social media pages. And before you know it, you're gonna to start to grow your email list, your revenue's gonna go up, you're gonna have more clients and here's the most beautiful part. You have to work less. Hallelujah, amen. Somebody give me a hallelujah in the comments right there because working less, making the same amount or more money is absolutely incredible. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap this up. Yep, Sue definitely models this and her team, you guys, I cannot tell you, they have taught me so much, okay, about this stuff. You know, those of you that are hearing this for the first time, a lot of you traps and togs, if this is new, don't let it overwhelm you. A year ago, I knew zero. 
okay, about all this, zero. If you are willing to bust your butt and hustle with heart, you guys can absolutely make this happen for yourself too. Absolutely. So a couple things I want to say in closing, okay? And then I, and Amanda, I think you're in the chat room. I think I saw you. My dear friend, Amanda from Fit Parenting, she's actual a local Ohio girl. She's a beast on social media. She does amazing things for the fitness community. So there she is, Fit Parenting. Go ahead and click on her. You want to follow her because she's going to jump on next. I'm going to pass it off to her. Sue, you will absolutely love this girl. And she's kind of adorable and has good shoes. I'm just saying. <laughs> so here's what I want to close with you guys. I want to give you a very clear call to action. And you guys hear me talk about this all the time. Yes, hustle with heart. I love that you guys are putting that in the comments, okay? And I love all the hearts that are flying, okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want to, <laughs> good shoes matter, Amanda, right? Good shoes matter. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to you to know how you can learn more with me. I know a lot of you are finding me for the first time. And if that's the case, I'm so happy that you are here. And if someone could put this in the comment for me, that would be amazing. I want you guys to go over to sparkle.society on Instagram. So head over to Instagram, sparkle.society, and I want you to follow me over there. Then I want you to head up to the link in my bio, okay? So I had a custom landing page just for the Creative Life course, and it's still up there. I'll be up there, I'll leave it up for another 24 hours. That way you guys can jump on board. When you get on that page, you'll see three different places that you can sign up based upon your needs. Thank you guys. Everyone screenshot that here. I'm gonna smile. So screenshot all those comments that say sparkle.society, right? I'm gonna smile. <laughs> I love when I see the cameras fly over there. <laughs> okay, good, saw some cameras. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose what meets your needs, okay? So if you are an entrepreneur, then I have a small business photography course that will teach you how, how to elevate your photography, and I'll give you my five free favorite tips for making a better photo, okay? So you can sign up for that. If you're a photographer, holy crap, you need to sign up for my list, like now, 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 because in one week, I am rolling out my Sparkle Challenge. My Sparkle Society community is absolutely amazing, and they've taken such good care of me this year, so I'm giving you all an no strings attached gifts. We are having the sparkle challenge. It's going to be 10 posts in 10 days. Literally, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you at the first week of December, I'm going to send you an email that has a PDF and it's going to tell you literally, here's what I want you to post on Facebook today. Here's what I want you to post on Instagram today. Because I know for me, you guys, if I do a diet, I don't want a list of the foods that I can eat. I literally want you to give me the recipe and say, this is what you're eating today. This is what you're eating tomorrow. This is what you're eating the day after. And this is what you can have for dessert. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be doing for all of you photographers, 10 posts in 10 days. I'm literally going to hand it to you so that you can spend more time with your money, or more time with your money, more time with your family, more time decorating your tree and learning how to make some amazing Christmas cocktails because people, that stuff matters. So make sure that you sign up for that list. Okay. So if you want to get on one of those lists and there's a third thing I'm rolling out a beginning photography course you'll see that on the website so if you want to learn more about any of those things you're going to go over to sparkle.society on Instagram click the link in my bio get signed up it's completely free and I'll send you some awesome downloads okay thank you guys so much for joining me yes loyal followers I have a very very strong tribe that I'm so thankful for your vibe attracts your tribe you guys and the more that you love your tribe the more that they love you back and if you give from abundance and they know that you're giving from abundance you have this amazing love fest like look at all these comments and hearts you guys these are my people and I love them. So anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I talked way longer than I was planning to. We are going to go ahead now. We're going to jump over to my dear friend, Amanda from Fit Parenting. So go ahead. There she is right there. She's going to talk about SEO, something that I know we photographers need to know a lot about and entrepreneurs as well. So go ahead and follow Fit Parenting and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for joining me guys.